My name is Martha and I'm here to share my story of my spinal CSF leak. My journey started, all of a sudden I got a headache one day and it just progressively got worse and worse over two weeks. I would stand up and it felt like my head was like being bounced around or, or being gyrated and, and it was very, very painful and progressed over two weeks time. So then I went to my family doctor. I thought, I, I have a bleed, I have a tumor, it's gotta be something. She sent me straight to Emerge. So I went to Emerge that night. And it wasn't a great experience. Uh, I had a CT scan, they gave me pain medication, and then they did a lumbar puncture to um, get some um, CSF. And they had a problem getting it. There was, it was uh, very painful and it took them a long time to get enough. But then they said I was fine and sent me home. So after I had that lumbar puncture, they probably, it, I, they probably took away any CSF I had left. So I got progressively worse. I could barely be upright. I was horizontal most of the time. I was able to work because I work at home. So I was lying down on conference calls, but nobody knew that. So then I had my brain MRI and my family doctor phoned me two days after and said, has anyone called you about your MRI? And all she told me about it was that you have a bleed and said, go straight to Emerge. So I ended up having an epidural blood patch and that um, worked immediately. It was, my headache was gone and I was discharged home. I was home for a week. They never gave me any restrictions on activity, so I just went right back to normal living. But one day when I was blow drying my curly hair, I was pulling and all of a sudden, my, I felt my, my brain falling down immediately. Um, so back to the hospital I went, and this time uh, they did another uh, epidural blood patch, and it didn't work at all. So they kept me in the hospital for three weeks while they tried to figure out what to do and send me to try to get a um, downtown hospital bed for me. So the neuroradiologist, when he was performing the digital subtraction myogram, he told me that my CT that I initially had in the eMERGE already showed brain sag. But very happy news that he found the tear, it was a calcified disc, and he said he was going to try to fix it right then and there with a fibrin glue patch, which he did. I had my fibrin glue patch and then stayed on bed rest for three days and had no headaches. And on the third day, I stayed up all day and it felt glorious, no headache. And then the next day the headache came back. So during this time, I, I couldn't be upright uh, for longer than maybe 20 minutes at a time. I was con oh, on bed rest continuously. I got very forgetful. Uh, funny story, my husband kept um, telling me to re tell my neurologist that I was getting forgetful, but I kept forgetting to <laughs> tell my neurologist that. So after the fibrin glue patch failed, they decided that I need to be referred to for surgery. And I had my surgery uh, a month later. I didn't have to wait too long at all. So the, my tear was in the front, so they had to go through the back and move the spinal cord out of the way to get to the hole and to um, shave down the calcification and to sew up the hole. So after I had my surgery and I was still in the hospital that first day, my back was really, really sore and I was complaining about my back and the resident looked at me and said, how's your head? And I said, I think my mouth hung open. I was like, my head is fine. I have no headaches, I feel amazing. I was only in the hospital a couple of days and then had some physiotherapy to get my um, back in shape. And um, I was headache free for two weeks then I had a different kind of headache that came on. My neurologist didn't really know what it was and we did another head, head scan, which was perfect. And so she put me on some medication to take that pressure away. Now I'm doing great. Uh, it did take over a year for some of those pressures in my head to settle down. I only have occasionally once in, uh, I might have some pressure, some strange feelings in my head, but then it goes away and uh, I'm, I'm right back to normal with exercise and everything else in life.